chat going here. Let's see if it's actually going through now. Live. Hopefully that didn't, didn't connect to my last stream. Uh, Changing the name for some reason. Hmm. That's cool. Dark mode. A video manager. Let's try that. And go into. That's not what I'm looking for. Looking for street live, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me. Keep hiccuping. I always do that when I start streaming. Uh, ooh, I have someone auto hosting me. That's cool. Let's see. Change this title to. Second viewer now. This is just myself again. Oh, now I have zero viewers. I don't know how that's possible. I'm currently watching myself. <laughs> One of the pro tips for this Twitch thing was if you watch yourself, you've already, you're already halfway to two, two uh, viewers. myself and I. Alright, so I'm gonna play this game. Let's see. Uh, I need to move my switch to location. Connection is terrible here. move these tables out of the way. Maybe that'll help me connect to the switch the controller. Oh yeah. Yeah, that would be a problem. Moving the keyboard. <laughs> uh, let's move this over here. Dropped all my controllers and remotes on the ground. Good job, me. I'm very successful at failing. Neighbors are all mad. Just dropped things on the ground and it probably disrupted them. Uh, move this a bit more. And yeah, they really like to bang the ceiling. Let's see if that's connected through proper. Alright, yep it is. Alright, guess I'll we'll start now. So this game is called Never Stop Sneaking. It is a stealth game for people who don't like stealth games. <laughs> Though I do like stealth games, but it's also for people who do like self stealth games. Maybe I should... There we go. Alright. So, so, what you're saying here is actually uh, one of the unlockable characters. And also, I'm currently wielding just two bananas. Yeah, and actually, the character I'm playing as is the character who runs the shop. So I'm going here, go shop. Buy bullets, buy Marty Fole. Also, it's grenades. I can get this thing, which does this thing do? Uh, collect ESP from greater range. So ESP is basically the currency of the game. What it does is, uh, what it stands for, uh, yeah, what it stands for is espionage. 
I need to like mute myself again. That just isn't working for me. Yeah, so you can see there, as you can see, the guards range, and I just killed him with a banana. Yep, literally just a banana. So I'm collecting the SP. It's like a little green dot that affects around. I'm picking up a package from there. So how you, oh, I don't need that yet. Yeah, I need a key card for that, which is right over here. As you can see on the screen, it's showing off where the key card is. It's because I have a little perk that lets me do that. So you can see down here I have key tracker, uh, scavenge health, scavenge ESP, which stands for espionage. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Scavenge ammo, which are bullets. You can see in the top right corner. I uh, got the bullets up there. Got shows the two out of two of the packages that are collected in this particular level. Um, see the six, the blue times six is a uh, six EMP grenades, and the yellow times two is smoke grenades. So I got the extended clip times two, which lets me have two more bullets. Normally you'd only have four. Scavenge ammo lets me find bullets easier. ESP lets me find ESP easier. Uh, scavenge health lets me find health easier. Almost entirely useless. <laughs> key tracker. Uh, let's find the key cards easier, which is also almost entirely useless. Um, from this menu, you can extract at any time, so you can just leave a mission at any time, even if you haven't beaten it yet. Right here, loadout. So loadout. I have just two bananas. I'm going to far eye. And going, all these are locked here. Oop, that is a bit laggy there. I had stopped well before that point. So I've got Soldier 414 to be playing as. Uh, the one which I think is the survivalist I rescued. I got very special agent Combs, who is a communications expert. I rescued engineer persons, who is the engineer I rescued. We got the basic main four characters. I I, uh, this is when you start with, and I particularly like that one, but then I unlocked the, uh, the shopkeep guy, so I was like, yeah, why not? Then I got just two bananas, a bamboo blaster. So basically what these are is, one is a gun, and the other is a, um, like a sword, like a ninja blade type thing. I'm just get wrenched in a, no, what do I call it? Uh, nail gun, I believe. The scan tech. That's what I got when I beat the mission that unlocks, you have to like go find a CD-ROM to use with the servers. Got the foam blaster. I've been using that one. So it's literally just a foam bat and a foam blaster. Foam gun. Whatever. I don't know. But then I locked just two bananas and I was like, have to. Just have to. It's just what you do. Oh, so this guy. As you see, he almost saw me there. And it's actually... I should actually show that off. Now that I think about it. What happens when you get spotted. This game works on a completely different level than all, all other stealth games in terms of, like, how stealth works. And so as you saw there, I collected up something. So the game controls entirely with a jo just one joystick. You can use either joystick, though. I'm controlling with... Here, can I show this stuff? I don't know. I can't really, it's kind of laggy on the stream, so it's far behind. I don't know if it's actually showing off, right? Uh, yeah, I guess it was kind of, sort of. They're using the Joy-Cons and the grip. Oh wow, that lagged a bit. What is going on? Is yeah, it's being kind of laggy. Oh, oh come on. Yeah, that's being weirdly laggy. Okay, could show show off what happens when you get caught by that. So when you to open things like that, you just you literally just stand there, and it is not controlling proper. I think I should use the right Joy-Con. My, my left Joy-Con has that like issue where it connects poorly. So it's a good thing it controls just one. <laughs> so I can just walk up behind him and kill him with a banana. And I just stand there and lock that. I don't think not used to uh, just using the right one. I've been using the left one. Whole time playing. Oh yeah, so as you saw, he saw me and I shot him. <laughs> and if you see in my clip, the uh, bullets um, are being used up. My shirt. Oh, my cat walked over my keyboard and, and unmuted it. Oh, that makes sense. I shoot. They really like muting and unmuting my my uh, stuff. So if I walk into this thing's range, 
I'll basically toss out an EMP grenade that'll take out the cameras. Um, I have six of those. You see, as I have five bullets now. I I did use up one when I shot the first guard, but he also dropped a bullet when I killed him. <laughs> so that helped. Oh, I got Sending Clip level three now. So you can get the same perk over and over and over again, but it levels it up. And Sending Clip is like the most useful one when I've seen. The rest are fairly useless from what I've seen. So I could walk into that and just show that off, but I'd rather not right now. Where am I in this level? I said I have to just finish level five. Oh yeah, four, two, one. So this is basically level two. I can move on. Well, right now I'm just gonna move on to two, two, as you see here. And I'm already in the middle of the level. I've been playing this at work. And honestly, I'm having a pretty good time with this game. It has it has a great sense of humor. I am loving this game's humor. And uh, and actually, one of the characters is voice acted by uh, Aaron Hansen. One of the very few bo voice actors who actually does voices for this game is Aaron Hansen. And I'm gonna go to level 2-2. As you see there, I, that's all I got for this level. Earn DSP, combat bonus. Uh, it's basically, I think that's basically how many people you kill in a row. You show that off soon. Floor bonus is, I think 1.5 is because I'm on the second floor. Um, package bonus, you can collect all the packages in the level. Oh, which is just that section there. Um, Get multiplier. So subtotal drops the mission total is how much you collected this entire mission. So total, I think it's just that level. And, and if you notice on the levels, it shows the first box has a little face in it. That means the shop's there. But far, far, it was the character who runs the shop. A uh, one two is a I'm kind of pointing at this weird now. I think about it because the camera's over here, but the <laughs> I'm looking at the screen over here. But 1-2 uh, is nothing, so it's just a level you pass through. 1-3, however, you see is skull and crossbones. Basically, every third level, as you might notice here, there is a um, there's a boss you, uh, you face at the end of it. And the bosses are all pretty unique. Like, they all play differently from each other. However, something, one major downside to this game that I don't have an issue with personally, because it's not really a problem for me normally, but people might have is the repetitiveness of it. It is literally just doing the same thing over and over and over again. And even though the different bosses have different variety, uh, you still fight the same ones over and over and over again. <laughs> there are pretty entertaining bosses, though. Um, I think one, one of my personal favorite is the uh, is there's the the Secretary of Health, uh, Doctor Acula. So yeah, and there's Vice President Helicopter. Um, and there's a few others I'll get to when I get to them. Yeah, right now I'm trying to find the field surgeons so we can sa save our agents because they just keep dying and we can't save them uh, without you know medics and whatnot. So I'll just move on now. Yeah, the entire game is basically. Oh yeah, so the the flashing dot as you might have seen on the screen was showing where the mission objective was. I forgot to point that one out, which I'm currently on the floor that has the mission objective. So it's just sh gives, it, gives it that shout out. So you see, I have two packages that I can get. So all the grenades and whatnot. Go here, just in here. So if you look at the uh, top right corner, that's the ESP for this floor. You see my health and how much armor. You don't start with any armor. You can collect it though. Um, oh yeah, here's some targets. Here's one of the enemies you can face. They just spin around and walk up to them, stab them. Stab, stab. So this level does not have any um, key cards because there's no security guards. Oh, and here's the guy I'm rescuing. Yeah, so we found the field surgeon. Try to slow down my speed. I always just go through it so quick because I can read it so quick, but I should probably just let it be read. <coughs> Maybe I can even do my own voices or something, I don't know. I don't know if people would like that. I'm not good at doing voices. <laughs> not good at talking, for that matter. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, they all give something like that. Yeah, so now I can go play as the doctor. I still want to. I'm just gonna.